And I went off t- on training. And uh, as you want, I went off to become a religious studies teacher with long hair and a beard, which was a cracking style move. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? I'm wandering down the school corridors. I can hear little voices going, Oi, Jesus! You wanker! Because when I went to school, I'm looking at some of the audience here. I can see there's a certain vintage that reflects my own. (laughs) Right? Uh, My teachers just used to bloody... I mean, you criticise the behaviour, not the kid, right? But my teachers just used to let me have it, both barrels. And they'd make you repeat it back as well. they go, Precious! You're a tedious little moron, what are you? I go, I'm a tedious little moron, sir. (laughs) Good, as long as you know. Anyway, and the premises officer, right? That's caretaker to some of you, (laughs) right? Caretaker. He said, oh, give him to me. I'll take him out on the field and he can pick up litter. And uh, I got a phone call from his mum, and his mum said, Mr. Precious, I realise he can be a problematic individual, but I'd appreciate it if you kept him in the classroom and didn't take him out on the field and make him pick up litter. And I said, well, don't think of it as a punishment. Think of it as an apprenticeship, you know. (laughs) A window into his future. (laughs) Right. I heard it's it's cliché, right? But I think it's a cliché that is attributable to George Bernard Shaw. Right? He said, if you can't do, teach. Right? Uh, which is bollocks, basically. <laughs> oh, it is. It's bollocks, right? But if you can't, do, then I heard one, it went, if you can't do, teach. If you can't teach, teach teachers. Right? <laughs> and I'd like to add one to that. If you can't do, teach. If you can't teach, teach teachers. And if you can't teach teachers, become an Ofsted inspector. <laughs> yeah.